this week I had a rock hounding video planned for you all. My husband and I went out to a creek. Uh, we looked for rocks for a while. Unfortunately, the thing about rock hounding is you're never guaranteed any cool finds. I picked up one or two rocks, but nothing really special. I had fun, but nothing that made a great video. So instead, we're shifting video ideas and we are cutting six rocks open for science. Now let's take a look at these rocks that we're going to saw open. Some of these will look familiar to you. You've seen them in other videos or you've seen them in shorts. Um, some of them won't. This first one should. This is our fancy Jasper from our gem shop video. Now I was very recently looking up what makes fancy Jasper fancy um, because it was very intriguing to me because it just looks like green Jasper and I do not know the difference. So I was reading that Fancy Jasper, although it's predominantly green, usually has flecks of red, flecks of purple sometimes, and flecks of gold. Now, when I was looking at our Fancy Jasper, I pretty much only saw the green. So I am wondering, when we saw open this Fancy Jasper, will we see those flecks of red? And I've never seen this before, but right here, I'm now spotting a little fleck of red, which is making me a little more hopeful that we're gonna see some more color on the inside of this big old chunk of fancy Jasper. Our fancy Jasper. Okay, we have some variation in here. Okay, we've got some black. And we do have some variation in our green as well. Really pretty. Let's see the other side. I'm not seeing any reds or purples. Maybe a little bit right there, a few specks of red. Yeah, a couple specks of red right there. But for the most part, we just got this black, which is still really cool. And I think this can make some very fancy jewelry. This next one won't look familiar to you because this is one of the only rocks I brought home from this failed rock hounding venture that I had this weekend. I only picked it up because I thought it might be good to saw open. It's got a lot of pitting. Um, it might be sandstone. I'm not totally convinced, but I didn't want to clean it off to try to really identify it because I thought it might be good to saw open. So I really wanted to leave this one up to question because I know roughly what some of these are going to look like. I really want this one to be a mystery so we can solve this one together. Ooh, wow, that's so much different than I thought it would be. Huh, okay. I mentioned it was super light, and it is, but I don't think it's sandstone. I think, and this is a guess, maybe somebody knows better. If you do, let me know. But I'm guessing this is chert that maybe had some other sort of minerals in it and over many years maybe weathered down, creating those little pores. It's really cool looking, but so different than I expected. Oh, that was a good one to pick up. This one I probably picked up back in, mm, I'm going to say December. It 
I picked it up out of a creek. I don't know why I picked it up. I don't know that it's going to be anything more than shirt. But what better opportunity than now to saw it open and check it out? Here is Creek Rock. Number two. Okay, I thought this would probably be chert. I actually think it's, mm, it's either quartzite or it is chert um, or chalcedony. You can see a lot of these translucent parts right here. It's pretty cool. I like the black mixed in um, overall. Not really a disappointment. I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe we can try to make something out of it. We'll save that for another video. Now, if you've seen my gym shop video, this one should also look familiar to you along with the fancy Jasper. This is our African queen picture Jasper. It's the really chalky one from that video, but it has these really cool sort of circular banding through here that almost looks like tree bark or tree rings. Um, so I'm really interested to see if that goes all the way through. It kind of looks like it probably does. I think that could make some really cool pendants. So I thought we might saw this one open to see what that looks like all the way through. I really wanted to see if those like tree bark looking spirals go all the way through. Ooh, okay. So just a reminder, here's what it looks like on the outside. But it's even prettier on the inside. It really looks like a piece of wood. Really cool. This will make something really pretty. Look at that. I mean, if I just took a picture of that, you would think that was a piece of wood. That is really cool. Very happy I kept this one open. This one also won't look familiar to you. And in fact, it didn't even look familiar to me. I was going through some rocks that my friend Jerry gave me. And this one was in there. Now you can see some pretty clear banding on this side. Um, these other sides, you don't really see it. The banding is leading me to believe it's either banded chert or it's an agate, but this is going to make a really exciting one to saw open. Here is our little banded or stripey rock. I had a little trouble cutting this one. It was a little bigger than my saw, I had to keep rotating it, so I didn't get the cleanest cut. I know that. Okay. I'd said, I assumed it was either an agate or it's banded shirt. And I believe this is banded shirt. Really pretty. And this should shine up really well. You can see what I said about not the cleanest cut, but we can fix that. Now, if you've been watching my shorts lately, this past week or so, you can see I've been on a crazy lace agate kick. So I had a chunk in my collection already. And I thought, why don't we sell this piece open? It looks a little different than the other pieces we have. It's a much darker red than some of these other ones. Um, you don't see too much of that lace banding on the outside. You can see a little bit right here. So I thought we might see what's on the inside of this one. This bottom part's a lot of quartz. Now we have our crazy lace agate. This one, as you can see, fractured as we were cutting it. I needed to add more water to my saw and I didn't realize it. The rock was heating up and it fractured. So I went back and added some water and continued cutting through. 
but you can see it wasn't a perfect cut and it didn't look too interesting on the inside we've got that one little lace piece and around the edges it looks pretty cool but most of it's just that dark color so I thought why don't we do one more cut and I'm so glad we did because look at that I thought the banded shirt was going to be the showstopper of this one but look at that it's beautiful so cool so glad i did another cut it just shows how much it matters where you cut because that is completely different from our first cut which is still beautiful and i do like that one little window but this is what i want my crazy lace agate to look like so these are our rocks did any of these surprise you did any of them disappoint you do you have any sawing tips for me of where i can get the best cuts or how i can find let me know all of that down in the comments and I will see you all next Wednesday at 11.